All right, all right, all right. Just start by prying this plastic out. You can do it with your fingernails, or I like to use a thin flat that's wrapped in blue painter's tape. Once you pry this panel, gently pull it out. You can see these are the four clips that hold it in. And it's tapered on this side and this side, so you can easily pry it out from the side. Once that's out, there's a clip on the bottom and a clip on the top. Press both of them in and pull the unit out gently. <clears throat> there's a little lever, a little lever. Pick that up and this plug comes out. And now you have the unit out. Okay, here we are indoors. There's two clips, one at the top and one at the bottom. If you push your thin flat gently inside, it pops open. On the other side, push it inside and pull it out. And that's what it looks like inside. You don't need to do anything with this piece. We'll set it off to the side. This is the piece we'll be working with. Pull out the clear plastic that spreads the light around. And then there's five screws. You can see them. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I've taken the five screws out before I take this apart, I just want you to notice that next to this screw hole, there's a little peg that comes up through the circuit board, and there's another one down here. These two pegs, if they are not exposed on this side of the board like that, it means this board is not seated all the way down, the LCD won't work. I made that mistake already. Once you have those five screws out, just lift up this board and set it to the side. And now you have this white shield. <clears throat> Be very careful. Between the white shield and the plastic, there's a tiny foam strip. If you look at this foam strip, you actually get a new one when you, do, when you order the LCD screen, but it sits between the grooves on either side right here. And this is actually what transmits the data, believe it or not, in this uh, rubber foam piece. There, if you look at it in the right angle, there's some conductor in it, but it sends the data from these contact points on the board to the LCD. So that's pretty important to put that back in correctly. And then with this, I push up gently from the bottom, which is the screen. And there's three layers here. One is this white plastic protector. The second layer is the bright orange sheet that actually gives the LCD its color. And this is the screen. So this is what you would replace. You get the new one and you drop it in. The ridge, as a ridge with the contacts exposed, I don't know if you can see that in the light, but that ridge needs to be facing up because it's what this foam or rubber piece sits on like that. So to reassemble it, drop the glass LCD in, Drop the, actually there's, I just noticed there's two layers of the orange plastic. Drop that in. The white layer. And the shield. And when you put the shield in, now's the time to align 
the rubber piece, rubber foam piece. And just push it in, make sure it's even all the way across. Put this back in and make sure those two pieces are pr protruding. Okay, I've put the five screws in and now I'll push this plastic piece back in. The hole goes right above these metal contact points here. I don't know if it'll fit the other way, but this is the way it goes. And be wary of this LED that's sticking out. It fits into the receptacle right here. And these pins are gonna go into the socket. So just use the LED as a guide. And it's got the two tabs on the top and the bottom that need to snap in. And that's it, I snapped both of them in. We're gonna go back to the vehicle, push the plug in here, lock it down, snap this into the dash and snap the faceplate back on. That's it.